The Clay Center Zoo has been remodeling it for the last two years, and they're in the final stretch, as long as the weather can give them a break. But even with the recent rain, it's been hard for some people to bear their excitement. And that's because of this girl. Shake. Good girl. And her new sister. There's a lot of energy there, uh, but they're a lot of fun. The most foot traffic on a daily basis that I've seen. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable the response that we've got from these bear cubs. It's just constant all day long into the evening. You know, we're staying open a little later now because there's so many people coming down after five, after the work day, just to see it. Their new home is about to get a whole lot bigger. Where we where we came from to where we're going, which is big, natural exhibit. The new cubs are going to have a house, a waterfall, and natural enrichment. But the project has come along with a few bumps on the way. The wet, wet fall, which led into a wet, snowy winter, which led into a wet spring, has hampered a lot of things. But all in all, the upgrades are expensive. Expected to be complete around late summer or early fall. But until then, blueberries, diced apples, diced cucumbers, shredded carrots, peaches, strawberries, blackberries, raspberries. The cubs are working on making themselves bigger. A little bit of Cheerios mixed in with it for grain. I just call it bear salad. <laughs> And I actually got a chance to hang out with the sister cubs while I was there. And the zoo is free for you to check them out as well. And you can help come up with a name for the two cubs. The winning name will get a chance for a special meet and greet with the bears. And I posted how you can do that on fox43topeka.com.